Well, we are looking ahead to the effects of Fred as we go into the day tomorrow. Heavy rain will be possible on Tuesday and the kind that could cause some major issues, especially across the mountains where we've already seen so much rainfall. There's going to be a severe threat with this too. Around noon to 8 p.m. will be our best chance of seeing any isolated strong storms. Tornadoes cannot be ruled out, and that's something that we'll be keeping a close eye on through the day. Two to four inches of rainfall is likely in a lot of spots with locally higher amounts, mainly up in the mountains, and that's where we really don't need to get it. Fox Radar 3D just showing light rain tonight. We've got a little bit of a reprieve before the heavier rain moves back in. You can see the center of circulation over Dothan, Alabama. Well, we'll continue its trek off to the north northeast, uh, moving right by our area as we get into the day tomorrow. So flash flood watches out because of the heavy rain that's going to come with that. Our soil is saturated from the rain that we saw today, especially up in the mountains. So anything that falls is not going to soak up for long. It's likely going to run off and cause those flash flooding issues. Temperatures are in the 70s right now, 73 in Lauren, 72 for Clemson and in Spartanburg, sitting in the upper 60s for you in Asheville. It's been a soggy day. We have one more ahead and then things will begin to get better. But tomorrow's going to be uh, something else when it comes to the rain. We'll have several rounds. Rain is likely tonight, but mostly light until we get into the early morning hours. Mid 60s expected in the mountains with scattered showers and isolated storms. So let's go through the overnight. Notice we have a few showers at midnight and and then the rain will pick up in intensity as we get closer to the morning commute. 4 a.m., mostly light rain, pockets of heavy rain. I don't expect anything severe in the early morning hours. Notice at 8 a.m., quite a bit of rain out there, especially in the northern part of the upstate. Getting the kids to school, getting yourself to work may take a little longer. Just be patient. As we go through the day, the center of circulation is going to be moving by from the west, and that's going to bring the heaviest rain. So likely we're going to see that across northeast Georgia and our southern mountains, and then we're going to see some storms lining up just east of that. That's where we'll have the biggest concern for possible strong to severe weather, and even an isolated tornado can't be ruled out. That would mainly be in the late afternoon with some heat energy from the day and then that all begins to transition out in the evening. So by 7, 8 o'clock, most of it is starting to move off towards Charlotte. We'll finally get a break from the heavy rain in the mountains, but it's going to be a lot of rain. Could see upwards of five, six more inches in some parts of the mountains. And we'll have that severe weather threat anywhere you see in the yellow, which is really just outside of the higher terrain and then down into the upstate. A damaging wind, a brief tornado cannot be ruled out. As we go through tomorrow, temperatures in the 70s, a good chance for that heavy rain. And there's a fresh look at those totals where we could see nearly six inches in parts of the mountains, about two to three in the upstate. Quick look at the rest of the tropics. Grace not going to be a factor in our weather as it's likely going to head toward Mexico. And then we've also got Henri in the Atlantic with winds at 45 miles per hour, but not going to affect the United States. So I'm happy to report the other two named systems not going to be a big deal for us, but tomorrow will be um, as heavy rain and a threat for severe weather will be here from Fred. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news from 430 to 9 for the latest on your forecast as you get your day started, guys.